Hi everyone, it's Donna Grace, and I'm going to test my peanuts along with my little peanut crew. <laughs> what do you want to call them? I've got all the kids here. I've still got two of them that aren't here, or three of them that aren't here, but uh, my daughter's here, and my husband is here, and I'm here, and we're going to test them. Okay, everybody, I, I popped the peanut open. Take a peanut out, try it. Not bad. It's kind of like a peanut. Uh huh. <laughs> it's good. Soft peanut. They're a lot better. Texture. They're a lot better than the ones we had years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Eat it. it's good. I could see me. I could see me opening these up and eating them with a little olive oil. Now I cooked these. Wait a minute. Let me ask the kids. How'd you like them? Did you eat yours? No. Pop it in. <laughs> chew it. Good. Chew it up. What do you Hi, think? Hi, William. What do you think, Kyle? Kyle, what? Good. Good? Good. Caitlin? Good. What? Good. Good? Paige didn't want to try it. Um, Benjamin, what do you think? Good. It's good? Hmm? Jessica? Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Yeah, that was, it Jim? was good. It was, it was good. A, like a peanut, but uh, I, I, I cooked them. I only cooked them six hours because I wanted them to have a little texture. I don't like things mushy. And so these have the texture of a chickpea. If you open up a garbanzo bean or chichidi, whatever you call them, out of the, um, out of the um, can, it's got that consistency. If you want them... If you want them um, softer, you could boil them longer, but I did it for six hours. It was two gallons of water that I had put into the pan with um, a half a cup of salt per gallon, so I put in a cup of salt. But I had to add water three times because the water was boiling away, and I just added water. I didn't add any more salt, and it's, it's salty enough. It's not too salty. In fact, it tastes pretty good. So I thank you, and uh, the rest of them I put in the freezer so that they can be bagged up, and I kept just enough out for us to eat and I to warm them back up because I took them off last night and to warm them back up, just hit it with the back of the spoon, Jim, and it works real easy. Just clunk it, yeah, and then it pops. <laughs> and um, I put the rest in the freezer so that I can bag them up and. To warm these up, all I did was put them in the pan, and I put water on and brought them to a boil, and they are much... I did try it one last night when it was cold. They are bad when they're cold, so you do want to eat them when they're warm. So that's it for this moment. I'll be back in just a flash, okay? No, okay. I don't know, okay. I always, why did I say okay? <laughs> I don't know. I'm back, but I don't remember where I left off because the part that I taped earlier, it was done in the early part of the day. The kids all tried the peanuts, and I tried the peanuts, and you know what? They were surprisingly good. I didn't cook them. I think I mentioned in the first half that I didn't cook them as long as some recipes say to cook them for a long time, like I think it's 16 to 18 hours. but. I like my food to have a little bit of a bite to it. Like It's like in my mind I was thinking like when you cook pasta, some people will cook it till it's mush and other people cook it to where it's got a little bit of um, al dente to the tooth. It's where you can you stick your tooth in and you can feel it a little bit. And so that's how I like it. And when uh, the one that didn't want to try it, Paige didn't want to try it when I was first having the kids try it. But when I said it tastes like chickpeas, she tried it and you know what? She liked it and she doesn't like much of anything. She's really a picky eater and she ate it. And then I had, I was peeling some or taking them out of the, the shell and my grandson was eating them out of my dish. And I said, wait a minute, those are mine. <laughs> he was eating them as fast as I could take them out. Cause I wanted to put a little olive oil on it and try it like that. And they're really good with a little olive oil. But you must eat them while they're hot. Because if they're not hot, they don't taste good. In fact, Paige, <laughs> she put one in her mouth. And it was really on the cold side. And she goes, oh, 
what am I supposed to do with this? And she's holding it in her mouth. And I said, swallow it? She goes, mm-mm. So she spit it out into the garbage. But, um, <laughs> she... Recycle. <laughs> Recycle, yeah. Camp the compost. compost stuff. We don't put anything in the wastebasket because that's paper. But we do put it in the shells. We're all put into the compost because that can be composted on the compost pile. We have a pile out there where my where my snake gourds are growing and my husband said they're very long, but I don't understand why mine are so fat. When everybody else is down south are nice and skinny and long. Mine are long and chunky. I have a chunky. Maybe it needs to go on a diet. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know why. Maybe our ground is too rich for them. Or it's too much rain. Maybe we get too much Maybe. rain. Could we be. get a lot of rain. I, yeah. I'm going to... I'm gonna, when they talk frost, I'm going to take them down. I'm not going to eat them this year. Um, I will um, try to dry them. And if I can dry it, and hopefully it doesn't rot while I'm drying it, I'd like to make uh, a shaker out of it. It's huge. But if it would dry and be lighter and make a nice noise, that would be great. They, they, um, I would have to get... I think the cactus is what the rain sticks are made out of. I don't think these make rain sticks. I don't know. I would love to have a rain stick someday, but only because I just like the noise. Not that I'm a, not that I'm going to do anything special with it. I know in the in the school when we'd have music therapy for the kids, sometimes they had the rain stick, and the kids, I used to love the sound of the rain stick when they would tip it but the kids really didn't understand how to tip it they used to kind of shake it instead of tip it and let the things fall down and then tip it over and let them fall down again it was really good well i watched bob's live he had a lot of people show up for this live this was a good one um he had quite a few people which was nice and um i did mention in he asked me how the peanuts were, and I said surprisingly good, which they were surprisingly good. Um, today I got up really, well, I got up kind of late. The kids woke me up. It was like 8.30, and they said, I'm hungry. <laughs> That's the first thing they say is, I'm hungry. Well, the wind was, oh, I have to tell you, the wind had blown so bad yesterday that when I, last night, when I went out to um, let the chickens out, I go, where is their chicken tractor? It was nowhere to be found. It wasn't inside the fenced area. It wasn't on my yard. And so I looked a little further, and there it was. It had gone across the road, and it was in the neighbor's yard. So I had to go get that. Then there was a garbage thing that was kind of, um, it was one on wheels that was in front of the barn. I had to take that one back. And I asked my husband if the kids put the where the kids put the bikes because I couldn't find the bikes. Come to find out, he put the bikes somewhere. I thought they had blown away too because it was really a really bad wind last night. My um, granddaughter that stayed home by herself, she got a little scared because she said the power went out. Where our power didn't go out, we had power. And so if she'd have come here, she wouldn't have been afraid. But she's 14 and thinks she's going to stay home and be a brave little soul. <laughs> but the other kids, they like coming here still. And then they painted. We had, um, they all made pictures. And I, and while they were painting, I was working on another bracelet. Oh, I know this. Uh, these things are, I've got it started. This is a different one. Another one. I've got, this is number six. They're, they are so much fun. The only downside is, I was telling my husband, is they, they make the beads so they're not uniform. And there's some of them that the needle, I couldn't get it through. I did use the, the um, dental floss threader for some of the beads, but it makes it takes me so much longer. And I like to use the, God bless you, you sneeze twice. Good heavens, he's, he's got the sneezies. But the, if you don't have a needle, you can use the dental floss threaders. They're just a, a plastic thing that looks like an eye. I can't get it. If I get it, you want to get it for me and I'll show them the dental floss threaders. So if you don't have a needle, because the needles are, are hard to find that are skinny enough and you can buy, you get dental floss threaders 
And they're just little, oh gosh, they're just little blue things in here. There's ten of them. But they're like, they're almost invisible. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put my hand behind. I don't know if it's there. Is it there? I think it is. I see it. But whether it's blurry or not. Here, yeah, I know you can see it. You know, it's amazing how the camera doesn't pick up what our eyes can pick up. Because like when I, when I see something... It's so clear to us, but the, yet the camera doesn't see it, and I don't know how to zoom in on it, so you're never going to see it close like my eyes show it. i got to stop talking. This is getting boring. <laughs> really boring. I'm really getting bad. I might have to back up and start over. Oh. Oh, it's okay. No, it's not. It's got to go over. It's got to start over, because this is really, whoo hoo <laughs> Really bad. Oh, you know, when I was watching Bob, maybe I could tell that joke. Yeah. I'll tell a joke at the end. And at least make it a little bit. Maybe. I don't know if it's a good joke or a bad joke. I'm not good at telling jokes, but here goes the joke. <laughs> I'm going to attempt. He was talking about um, how he, he was waiting for God to save him. Thought that God should help him with his... Um, drinking problem and it brought up a, a joke to my brain and there was this real bad flood you probably have heard it I don't know there was this really bad flood and the guy was there and the the police knocked on the door and said you know there's a bad flood coming you want to come and we'll take you to a safe house safe place to the school or wherever they are having everybody go just so they're on higher ground and he says nah I'll stay here so, me. so then um, the um, water was coming in, wasn't coming in, and he so he went into the house and was on the second floor, and a boat came by, and he says, um, you want to come with us? We'll take you to a safe place. Nah, God will save me. So um, he then the, the rains get worse and worse and worse, and he goes up on the roof. And a helicopter comes, and the helicopter guy yells down. He says, you want to grab the rope, and we'll save you for this? We'll take you to a nice, safe place. He says, nah, God will save me. And first thing you know, he drowns. He gets to heaven, and he wants to know, how come I died? You were supposed to save me. And he says, well, I tried, but you didn't hear me. I sent the police officer at the door to take you away. I sent the boat and you didn't get in it. I sent a helicopter and you didn't get in it. What, did, what more could have I done? And that was the end of that story. Very good. Uh, yeah, I'm not a good joke teller. <laughs> I'm really not. But enjoy yourself and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.